KG. Yeah. Uh, Tony, it's Donald. No, no, wait, don't hang up. I've got a very exciting proposition for you. Please come by my current, um, residence and I'll fill you in. Tony, please, Tony, have a heart. I I'm calling you from my last time. I know what you're thinking, Tony. How the mighty have fallen. But this is just a temporary blip, my man. Okay. Oh, don't be all touchy. I know I said some nasty things about this being your fault and all, but hubris is a nasty, nasty bedfellow. Almost as nasty as termites. And trust me, I've tried both recently. Wait. You and me are on our way back. I never went away. We're in this together, amigo. No, we're not. Please. Please? Please? Forget about it, buddy. It's all your fault? Pathetic. Ten percent. Ten percent of what? This? Oh, you're too kind. Not of this. Of something really big. Come. I'll tell you about it on the drive. I hope you have your car. Mine's in the, uh, uh, shop. Yeah. Head for the airport. Poor Tony. We don't have a minute to lose. Oh, yes. This is one of my better plans, for sure. I never knew I had it in me. Even Avery would be proud. Tony, my ex-mentor, Avery Carrington, is flying into town today. It's come to my attention that he's working for the Panlantic Corporation. They'll do anything to get prime real estate. We have to get hold of his plans to acquire land. Come on, Tony. Get after him. Out of my... Panlantic must have employed the cartel to protect Avery. I need those blasts. Tony! Quite literally. Now let's get this back to the safety of my, um, place of a boat. This is gonna make me a fortune. <laughs> 